Greetings loyal viewers and welcome to another Spyro commentary. I know, so soon, I know, but uh, I wanted to talk about this, uh, I want to talk about something really, uh, really quick before we get to this image here. Um, there has been a uh, bit of a heat going on among Spyro fans when it was, when it was pretty much confirmed that there's going to be a big mandatory update uh, for the game upon release. Now, as weird as that is, I want to say up front, as a fan myself, please, it's not that big a deal. It's not like playing them from this point forward is going to require you to have internet on. And in fact, I'm pretty sure they pretty much uh, cleared that uh, up very recently, like about an hour ago, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, on top of that, it's still, it's still not going to bring the charge of the game up any higher and on top of that I don't think it's going to deter the quality of the game anymore. I just wanted to get that off, off my chest. Now on to the image here. We finally have an image of Gulp and holy smokes. First we go from money bags earlier like yesterday maybe two days ago to finally this. It really goes to show that as we're getting closer and closer to the release day that they still are not going to slow down by any huge uh, margin until we are fully satisfied. Now, uh, getting on to the image itself, Gulp looks amazing. Uh, not just Gulp himself, but his arena, his overlook, uh, looks really cool too. It really goes to show, furthermore, that just because your visuals, your detail and visuals is simpler does not mean it can't still be visually pleasing to look at. And this is no exception. I also love the ways in which they updated him. I love how they still managed to make him look very dopey, but still somehow more aggressive than his uh, than his PS1 counterpart, which I really like. All it's missing now is Crush, and what? And uh, I don't know if that's going to come up uh, sometime later today. It might, and if it does, I'll probably talk more about that tomorrow. But um, so this is really cool. Um, Comparing this to uh, this image someone showed off at Twitter, uh, getting a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison here. Yeah, much like with what we've seen over the past couple of months, it's it's like night and day. It's it's really like night and day. That's really, really impressive. I want to go ahead and talk a little bit again about the Ripto image that was shown off uh, almost a couple months ago. I even have this as like my uh, desktop. That's how much I like that. And... Uh, I will, I will say, the more and more I look at that image, given that it's my desktop, <laughs> uh, the more and more I actually uh, grow to really like Ripto's design, because I'll admit, like some, like some of you out there, I wasn't too keen on the way he looked on the uh, cover art, but uh, to me it looks like they've heard our complaints and they've slightly tweaked him in a way that looks more appropriately fitting. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Oh, also, speaking of uh, images being leaked, I hope to God that when they uh, leak an image for Alora, please, 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 Toys for Bob, let it be this fan art I made of her several months ago. Please let that be the one. I really would like to be, to be for a prediction of mine, to be 100% accurate. Well, maybe not 100%, but uh, uh, at least on a visual sense. I want it to be close to accurate as possible so please let me be right on that one i'm not going to necessarily be mad if i'm not don't get me wrong but it would be nice to be uh, right about that one so going back to the image again at least for another second here once again looks really good i cannot wait to play this because if you've seen my spyro 2 review you know i think that game kicks so much ass so not really much else i can say from this point forward um I'm King Gargantuas, and I'll see you all next time.